will say I was a little disappointed when I got the voicemail back saying they had not yet even ordered the bonds. And that's what concerns me. Uh, if we're, they're not meeting the deadline, it's just for paperwork, the financials, the bonds. Uh, what's going to happen once the project is started? They, they're, they're setting that precedence for themselves. Now, is this one of the projects that only had one or two bid, or is this one that the yeah, other bidders can do? The second low bidder was between two and three thousand dollars more. I don't remember the exact number, but it was in that range. But you had a couple of it. Yeah, only yeah there, there are projects. Uh, we had at least two other bidders for this particular project. And the second bidder got all of their paperwork on time? And on time, not not perfect, but we're working with them to. <coughs> Although we don't know how they would perform on this specific project because we never asked for it, but mm -hmm. this yes. second little bidder had other projects with us. And they've stayed in communication with us. Does the city have any experience, uh, previous experience with this contract? Yes. Is it favorable? Or am I out? If, no, no, you're not all out of line. Their work is probably durable. Um, their craftsmanship probably could be better. Just the, the little things. That they they are the contractor that reconstructed and did the work last summer. We have those deadlines in, in place for a reason. I guess that's up to you, but that would be my recommendation is that you go on to the second little bidder. Yeah. Um, if you need to decide probably three things. One, are you wanting to declare this bid abandoned or give this contractor more time? If you declare the bid abandoned, you need to decide what you want to do with the bid bond. And then finally, you need to decide what you want to do about awarding the work to something. Part of me says that I did have wrong contact in Friday to talk to him, make sure that they got stuff. The, the voicemail I got back, in my view, confirmed that they had received the notice of award. Yeah. We have not mailed, we have not been in the practice of mailing the notice of award certified mail or return to see. But their voicemail did tell me that it wasn't that they didn't know we awarded them the work. And I believe they had a representative at your meeting last month when the bids were open. Do you recall? There was a representative, and the bid tabs went out the next morning, so they knew the next morning they were low bidder and that the motion had been made that was going to be awarded to them. So they actually knew it probably seven or eight days before they actually received the notice of award that went out on the night. Do you have an opinion on this, Mark? I'm not to put you on the spot, but yes. um, I think I discussed with a couple of the last one. Like Ron said, I don't think their work is substandard as far as the product and the durability of it. Uh, I will say that we didn't put quite the nicest finished product as we did with some other contractors. Move on that we we're not spinning our wheels waiting on them to. Uh, I've I've been doing this kind of work for a lot of years, and I don't recall the contractor ever getting back in a timely fashion. Most of them want to work and they want to do what they need to do and this is a very normal part of this process to submit these documents and they seem to, seem to get there. It almost makes you feel like uh, well, it's okay if we get it, okay if we don't. Uh, I just wonder where the priority would be for our project. There 
was some speculation that since they got one of the seven, probably realistically one of the five better ones, maybe one of them appealed to them as compared to not having more than just one. All right, so you need a, a motion then to uh, have the word that counselor. You have a project number. Um, City of Greensburg Community Crossing Matching Rack Project approved. Uh, abandoned. Uh, I haven't declared a bit abandoned. Abandoned. So I was going to bond and then decide that it's going to be all in the project. or procedure, we'd have to contact the bond company to have, it, to have the 10% paid out to the city as damages to us. Could the board I, have? I, don't, I can't necessarily tell you specifically what that row is going to look like. I think Ron and I, we would follow the procedure to do that. Could the board elect to take less than the 10%? Could they take the difference? Sure. contractor and then a separate motion to award okay. the work. Sure. Okay. So my motion is exactly what he said. <laughs> 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 the motion was approved earlier and then foreclosure to pursue the bond amount. That's the difference between the, the second most project amount project amount that was awarded. Very good. Thank you. Please second. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. First part to the second part to the second part to the second part to the second part. Make motion that we award project three to the second part. Which was Dave O'Mara contract, contractor saying.
Thursday. Aye. Aye. Also on Wednesday, the lab on the street was uh, possible we'll be having a 5K run on November the 5th. And they'll be running down part of Davidson, a little short section. Uh, they'll be going one way to do it. But they won't really be sitting in one of these streets clubs. Just be aware of that right mark. Pardon? The one on November the 5th. The November 5th one? Yeah. 5K for the hospital. They're trying to avoid um, the hill on Montgomery Road as you come down from Lincoln towards Montgomery. So they are looking at going through Steve's fire gate at the back of the property, uh, through the end of Stewart Street, down Kessler, and then actually just run from Davidson that one block and get back on the trail to avoid the interactions all the vehicle traffic. We will be on Montgomery for a couple hundred feet. Uh, don't know if they have to be on it at all. They might actually right. take the cable down. Uh, and talk to the later than I did. Yeah, I talked to him this evening at about 4 30. And it would be better if they did. Stay within the school. The, the weather's halfway decent. They can run along the uh, school property on Central and not have to be on the street on that probably at all. They have their volunteers in place that are going to take care of traffic control. Uh, I think they've got to notify one or two property owners up on Stewart Street. And I told him I'd work with him on that situation. Thank <laughs> you. 